Hello everybody and welcome to the Trans Youth Channel. My name is Tasia and thank you for coming and tuning in for another Thursday. I just want to start off by saying thank you so much for welcoming, to, welcoming me to the channel and thank you to Kit and all the other people at Trans Youth Channel for opening the doors to me. Um, I think that is absolutely wonderful and I'm very excited to be a part of this. And um, if you want to learn more about me and my life, definitely go and check my um, my channel out, which is XO question mark OX. Um, anyway, on to the topic of the week, which is, do you think making you, by being trans, you understand your birth gender more or people of your birth gender? Um, and I have to say that this was a very difficult question for me to answer just because I like, Hmm. it's really I don't know it's really difficult like I was raised in the type of situation where I've never had to really educate myself or be a part of a male environment um, my parents are very supportive of whatever I did growing up so me um, I never really did male things like I never well I didn't really play like masculine sports or whatever you want to quote as male um, so I really have to answer this question with that I definitely don't think so I don't understand men whatsoever um, if you watch any of my videos you'll definitely know that I don't think I know men at all I think they're quite weird and foreign and um, I think that just because I had once lived as male doesn't mean that I have any better understanding than any other woman. Um, I will say that in terms of like, and this is a personal thing too, I don't, I don't say that every trans woman would say the same thing, but when it comes to some sort of like thought, thought process or the way that I think in terms of my interactions or my relationships I do have to say is pretty I don't want to make myself sound like a total slag but it's pretty you know sexual I, I find that when I'm on a date with a guy I find that I am definitely more sex motivated when I am talking to another woman or another person in general I just find that I'm checking them out maybe not in a very sexual sexual manner especially when it comes to women but um, I find that you know like I'm always like looking at their physical rather than connecting on a huge emotional part like there's a very few people that I connect to on an emotional level and I think that might be something of more of a masculine trait um, to be like very frank and honest with you guys like I am not on hormones I've been living full-time for a very long time and I'm still on the waiting list for um, hormones here in the UK so um, it's been you know I haven't really grown to have any understanding of the mental thought process or the effects of estrogen on my brain or my body so it's hard for me to connect to even females in that general matter um, but I will say that when I'm around men in social situations I feel very awkward and uncomfortable because I really don't connect with what they say and I don't understand how they say it because it's just very 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 odd I don't know how else to describe it really um, like they'll be going and talking about just like the way they talk about things that just don't understand it like it's very odd yeah I don't know what else to say because um, <clears throat> to be honest it's very difficult for me to connect to men in any way shape or form um, except for maybe like the way I think but I know a lot of women who think like that too so I don't necessarily think it's a mask 
masculine thing. And um, I'm not going to sit here and claim that I have any better understanding of either or cisgendered people because I'm, I still feel like I'm in that middle ground of I'm not on hormones. So in one token, I can't really say that I have experienced the effects of estrogen on what they'll do to my brain and body, but I would, but naturally just the way I've always been has been, I guess, characteristically female. I don't know if I'm explaining that right, um, but in the same token, I've never had male intentions, male thoughts, male actions, so it's really hard for me to say. Anyway, that is all for me today. Um, I really hope I answered your guys' question, because that one was pretty difficult for me to explain, but if you have any more questions, definitely send them to um, the transuse channel at gmail.com, or you can contact me on my personal page, which is xo, question mark, o, x, and until next Thursday, I will see you all.